Okay, so Akaza is actually really flexible when it comes to doing combos, which is really handy because then you can really pay attention to your combo counter and think about what you want to achieve in each time you get a hit. And you can combo off of basically anything, so you'll get lots of opportunities to do this. Um, yeah, so with Akaza, there are only a few things to think about when you are doing a combo. It's looking at your combo counter and thinking about what kind of ender you want to use. Do you want to cash out and use your collapse for a massive chunk of damage at the end of the combo? Or do you want to end it cheaply? Or do you want to get a bunch of meter game at the end of your combo? And how two similar combos could end depending on the situations is something like this. So if I want to do a really cheap combo and I end up starting with my punches, I could do something like this. Dash in, do a few attacks in the air, dive kick, and then just do a down combo. 3,800 damage, really good for only two bars and just off of my random rapid punches that I land in neutral. Pretty consistently, that happens a lot. But if I do want to end my combo, um, with a bunch of meter gain, and I want to, if you know, maybe I've spent a bunch of meter on projectiles and stuff, I can do a combo like this, and end it a little bit differently. So I dash in and just do an aerial combo and get that hard knockdown, and then after that, I get a lot of time to build some meter back, so I'm not, you know, completely defenseless against my opponent. Or, if I want to really cash out and get a big chunk of damage, I can do something like this. use my collapse at the end of the combo that cost me three bars and a sidekick gauge but it did about half of the opponent's guard um of the opponent's life which is really ridiculous for a single combo and honestly when you think about it compared to some rengoku combos three bars and one sidekick gauge is really not not that much to ask for it's pretty powerful for a half health combo so now just combos off of different things what do you want to do with the kaza uh if you get a random hit you basically want to hit confirm as soon as possible and you can either just go into your rapid punches into a dash up or rapid punches into your compass needle and depending on how much time you have you can either go for a popper ender or if your time is a little bit low you can go for a little bit of a reset with the opponent lands you go for a grab and you get a big chunk of damage that way or you can choose to end your combo um in more of a normal way and go for your rapid punches or something and do a proper ender to your combo but you just got to make sure how much time you have left in your combo if you manage to land your projectiles, depending on how far away you are, you can combo straight into your rapid punches and then into your compass needle, and then get your combos going this way. You get a really decent chunk of damage from hit confirming projectiles, and if you are further away, obviously you're going to want to be using your annihilation. Oops, and get a combo going that way. It's going to scale pretty hard off of your annihilation. Oops, whoa. Um, the five projectiles and the annihilation are gonna combo. Oh, it's gonna scale pretty hard. Sorry. But um, the fact that you're able to, com to combo full screen off of your projectiles is really powerful. And you can dash in and get some extra time to build your meter back and your support gauge before the opponent wakes up. So you've already built most of it back by the time the opponent's waking up. So that's really powerful. If I get a red combo, Akaza is actually a really privileged character that he gets to get a combo for free off of his red combo just by dashing in, so it's almost guaranteed off of any, off of any distance, and it has ridiculous distance, like this crazy range. So you just dash in, do a few aerial attacks, and because you don't have too much time, I prefer to go for a reset here, go for a grab, or maybe go in for an armor attack if the opponent's expecting that. Or if you are just wanting some damage, you can... Um, Do something like that for some guaranteed damage, but I think it's better off going for a reset for more potential damage, or if you, it's also a really good opportunity to build a bunch of meter. So say you've been spending a lot of meter on your projectiles and stuff, it's a perfect opportunity to just do an aerial combo and just build a lot, a lot of meter back. See, I've almost back to full from zero just from doing that combo. Um, same goes if you land an aerial tilt attack. Um, you don't have too much time because you've got red combo, so either just keep it simple and do a down combo, or you can cash out and, you know, do your destructive death into collapsed for a decent cash out. That's actually really good damage for a short red combo. Or you can go, you know, try and go in for a reset or something a little bit tricky there. Um, the same goes as before with the compass needle. It's basically the same as if you land a random disorder. You've got plenty of time to do whatever kind of random combo you'd like. You've got tons of time. 
You can do literally whatever you want. You just got to think about how much meter I want to spend. How do I want to end the combo? Am I wanting just a lot of damage? Do I want to build some meter at the end of the combo? Or, yeah, do I just want to keep it cheap? There are your only options. And then when it comes to, into comboing into your ultimate, it's the easiest thing in the world, really. Because basically anywhere where you would have done your collapse, you can throw in your ultimate. And it'll work basically the exact same. Just make sure you haven't used up all of your combo meter like I did there. Um. Combo into your ultimate, it combos super easily off of your Anaya, off of your destructive death. Very easy to combo into things. He's a very, very easy combo character, and that's why I feel like there's no need for super advanced combos or super ridiculous things that are hard to execute. Because simple stuff and super versatile, easy stuff is the, the best you can go with Alcaza. Because you can get the meter back if you want it, you can get the hard knockdown if you want it, you can get the damage if you want it just by throwing collapse. If you are in boost mode, your combos will obviously do more damage, and you do get to end them a little bit more cheaply, because you get to end them with your boost combo ender. So this combo only cost me two bars, and it did half of the opponent's life just because I was in boost mode. And that's really ridiculous. When you're in surge mode, you can kind of be the same as most characters, just cancel special moves into special moves. And you're gonna kill your opponent pretty quickly. And then obviously at any point, if you are on the ground, you can cancel into your ultimate and they're probably gonna die. But those are Rikaza's combos. He's pretty simple combo-wise. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna quickly talk about his guard combos, also known as pressure. So when the opponent is guarding, he actually has pretty ridiculous guard pressure because... This disorder move has so much dust flicked up onto the screen, it's so hard to see that this grab is coming out. So at any point during this destructive death disorder, you can cancel it into a grab, and depending on how far you are, you can actually cancel it um, um, before the last hit comes out. But if you are right in the face, you're going to have to do all of the hits. See here, I didn't even have the whole special move come out, and I cancelled it into a grab. It's very hard to see this coming, especially in the laggy online environment. But even after the last hit, because there's so much dust flicked up on the screen, it's almost impossible to react to that grab. And, I explained this more in my breakdown video, but his projectiles are all frame traps, so if the opponent is not holding guard consistently, or if they're trying to press buttons or jump away, they're gonna get hit by these projectiles because they all have a small gap in between them. So that is really powerful, especially considering the fact that you can cancel any of them into a dash in, into a grab. It's just super powerful. So the opponent has to be standing there and blocking and reacting when you're throwing projectiles, and it's really scary. So he's got awesome pressure, he's got awesome mix-ups with his grab, he's got awesome um, frame traps with his projectiles, and he's got awesome flexible combos. Almost anywhere when you start a combo, you can get a big chunk of damage, you've just got to pay attention to how much time you've left in your combo, and you can always cash out for some big, big, beefy damage. Anyways, that's Akaza, those are his combos. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.